it's faster than a speeding bullet train. Geekier than the guy who wrote this intro, it's the new cutting-edge transport idea that has the whole world talking. Planes, trains, boats and automobiles. For more than a century, these have been the four pillars of transport connecting the world. But soon they could be joined by something new, a revolutionary fifth mode of mass transit. And boy, is it fast. It's called the Hyperloop. It's a system of giant suspended tubes. Riding within are capsules carrying people or freight travelling on cushions of air at speeds of up to 1,200 k's per hour, or roughly one kilometre every three seconds. It might look like something from science fiction, but Hyperloop is the brainchild of Elon Musk, a guy who's made billions turning science fiction into science fact. He not only created PayPal, he's also the mind behind the successful commercialisation of space travel through his company SpaceX and the cutting-edge Tesla electric car. Elon Musk is part of a generation of people like Larry Ellison, who just bought a volcanic island, uh, Richard Branson, who's building a space platform. They're almost like Bond super. Hyperloop has been pitched as an alternative to high-speed rail to link cities less than 1,500 k's apart. Musk says it's safer, immune to weather and ten times cheaper than high-speed rail. In Australia, politicians have been arguing about a high-speed rail link between Sydney and Melbourne since the early 80s. Their biggest issue, the $100 billion plus price tag. Could something like the Hyperloop actually be the answer to super-fast, environmentally friendly high-speed travel between our busiest cities. One of the coolest things about Hyperloop is that uh, Musk has released it as open source. That means anyone can take it, anyone can adapt it, anyone can change it. He's basically given away all of his intellectual property. So the gauntlet has been thrown down. A design document for a whole new super cool way to travel. The only thing now, will someone pick it up and make the Hyperloop a reality? So cool. Crunch some numbers today. <laughs> Sydney to Melbourne, Melbourne to Sydney, 40 minutes. Yeah. Lee, would you do it? Would you kil write a kilometre every three seconds. Absolutely. I think one of the things about this, though, that wasn't mentioned then is the fact that once this is developed, they're going to make the technology open Available. source. Yeah. So it's not under patent. Anyone can come along and develop and use the technology. Would you go the first, the first one, though? Be the first one in the first capsule? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. I oh, know. Well, you'd want to test it out a bit first. Well, 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 <laughs> put a couple of caps in first or something. They're going to go every minute, apparently. So each minute a new a new capsule goes. There'll be like if, ten people in each capsule. Yeah, what if one breaks down? And yeah, like, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure they've thought it through, Dave. <laughs> I'm sure they're not I watching this. Know. I'm sure the eggheads that wrote all this down were like, oh my god, we did not think of well, that. Yeah, well, <laughs> I just saw it, I just thought Seriously. make it like a giant air hockey table, everything will be fine. Look, when it happens and it crashes, remember when you heard about it here, right? <laughs> yeah. The suppository of all this. <laughs> Take a break, back in a sec. Coming up.